Now, two Kiwis are taking part in the world's largest paper plane throwing competition. It's located in Austria. Last month, university students Dan Kingsley and Bailey Parsons won the longest hang time and longest distance categories at the National Red Bull Paper Wings final. Let's take a look at the throw that won them the competition. <laughs> Right, the pilot, the designer is Dan and he's with us this morning. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Good, thank you. How long was that in the air? Uh, I think it was just under eight seconds. And how, what's ah. the world record? Uh, 13, so I've got a bit to go. And are you refining your design from that? Pretty much, yeah. So that was not my design, but I'd like to take my design to Austria when I do go. How many others were there that you beat? Um, well, there was a lot of people who went to the qualifying events, but in the final, I think it was about eight or ten people. And how old are these people? Uh, mostly university students. How did you get into this? Um, it was a bit of fun back in the day when I used to play with my little cousins. Um, but we just saw it on the university events page, and I was like, well, let's just try it out. Why not? What about the designs? Because to get to 13 seconds, you obviously got a bit of work to do. Can you look at other designs and copy them or does it have to be a unique design? So it can be whatever I want other than it's got a couple of rules like it's got to be one sheet of paper, no rips and no tape, no nothing added to it. Um, but other than that it's pretty much you can use other people's designs or you can try and make your own, it doesn't matter. What have you learnt in terms of throwing, like the if there's any art to throwing, do you throw Quite hard or it's, soft, up or down? It's very dependent on the plane that you make. So if you're going for distance, you probably want to throw it harder. If you're going for time, then you might, might want to throw it up in the air and then let it spiral down. So you still have to get quite a lot of velocity to get it up into the air. I got really intrigued in the whole physics behind it. So that's what the guys before were talking about when they said that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, it's Newton's third law. Oh, you know it. <laughs> that's, um, that's because if you look at this plane, it's got little wings at the back. You might not be able to see them on the camera, um, but there's little wings, and what they do is they push the air up and it puts the bottom down and then lifts the nose and then you get lift. Ah, that's your phone. Sorry. Someone's that's, ringing saying... That'll be Newton. Yeah, that'll be Newton saying. now. <laughs> You've got, you, finally, someone got my third more right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, then when you get the lift, you can, all you need to do is be able to throw it, and I will actually throw it now. And it should go oh, up and then that's glide a good around. One. Do you want a heavy front? Um, so you want a heavier front than the back, so you want <laughs> the centre of mass to be somewhere just, be, just in front of the middle of the plane. OK. Um, so you don't, and you don't want, to, but you do want a bit of weight in there. You want a bit of a booty on it, don't you? Because, you, like you said, you want the yeah. You want some friction on the. Booty. So the actual, <laughs> the wings of the plane. And if you look at mine, it's got those little pieces on the outside, and they hold what they call the dihedral angle, and it keeps the plane centered. Ah. So with your one there, it's quite flat. Yeah. You want to bring those wings up a little bit. These ones. Yeah. Oh, just okay. with the, it doesn't need to be much. Okay, you gotta you gotta look at these both and then tell us who's was the best. Mine's not even straight. Uh, well. So it kind of wanted to stick uh, around, but it's got not uh, an, not enough structure on the front of the wings. Ah, uh, okay. So it wants to kind of flap around a bit. Oh, that's that's not, quite. Not um, enough structure, Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this structure in action. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so what we That's can what do happens. is I'll actually build one quickly here. Now, Dan, you have made a new paper plane. This is a bit of a different design, or it looks more like your classic. Tell yeah. us about it. Well, the whole idea behind this is to show people at home that a basic dart is really easy to turn from a really terrible plane to something that flies just well. And you would know, this is Dan Kingsley, this is the, this is soon to be world champion after competing oh. in Austria in the paper plane competition. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> um, basically, if you look down the angle, you should see that there's a, a guide in the middle. What that will do is it'll act like a pendulum. It'll come back to centre and keep itself upright. The front wings have a little bit of an extra fold 
just to keep the structure again. So if you see it when it's coming up and down, it doesn't really change its structure. It doesn't want to go out to an open position. So basically, it should fly pretty well and go across the studio, hopefully. Look. We'll just Whoa, go that went high. Wow. Back. Yeah, that was definitely the better throw. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to try your one just before you go. Um, of course you can. Dan, if that's all right with you. Of course. Um, this, do you use your fingernails to get those folds, really, those creases really tight in there? Uh, if you really care about the plane, then yes, yes. Ah, OK, you've got to have good fingernails on you. Right. Oh, oh. sorry, I've ruined you. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't control which direction it goes, really, can you? So the thing about those two that we've just thrown is they've had a little bit too much lift on the back, so it got to a stall in the air and then kind of just dive-bombed again, and then at, as it got near to the floor, it actually started going again. It started coming back up to a central position where it was nice and happy and it would keep going. Dan, when right. is the competition? Uh, it's in May, yeah. Good so luck. I think it's Best of luck, Dan. 13. We need to um, keep across that and see how you're getting on and yeah. check in awesome. with you again. Please film it for us. I'm sure somebody will be, won't they? Yeah, I think Red Bull will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they will. Um, Dan Kingsley, thank you so much for being with us and for those tips this morning.